it's Nedison here, and we're doing another video showing off the new stuff in Civilization Craft 2.0. Uh, so in this video, we're going to cover uh, floating structure validation and also the backpack. So uh, I'll start with the backpack because it's pretty simple. It's just a, uh, it's just really a GUI item that allows us to uh, add uh, buttons and menus that will replace things that commands used to do. So you used to have to type commands to build a structure, but now you can just right-click on the backpack, then click Build Structure, and then select the structure from the list. Now all of these are grayed out because they don't have any of the requirements for them. See, the town hall requires a camp, and the fishing boat requires a shipyard and trade, and nonsense, all this stuff's going to change too. So um, this also is going to change this layout here. I've, I'm just implementing the functions one at a time, and then I'm going to organize them. Um, so you've you got coins here, so you can actually see your balance without having to type any, any commands. Uh, we can demolish the nearest structure, we can claim a plot, uh, we can get to the crafting recipes too. Um, so the next thing is structure validation, um, or floating structure validation to be specific. So uh, in, in some of the veterans may know that uh, in order to prevent floating structures, uh, structures have to check the blocks below them in order to make sure that they're not floating and that was kind of tedious um, so it was really really terrible for new players who didn't know what that was basically when you tried to when you tried to validate a structure it would tell you like what layer was missing how many blocks or it wouldn't even tell you how many blocks it tell you the percentage of blocks it was missing so you'd have to like dig down find that layer fill it out and then come back up and then try to build it. It was a big pain. So instead we're going to do something slightly different and that is we're going to um, build we're going to build or fill in the dirt for you as long as you provide the dirt in the during the uh, during the building process. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Um, so basically uh, let's say we wanted to build a floating camp kind of like over here and uh, we go through here, we select the, the camp, it'll let you go through the entire camp building process until you get to this chest. Now, clearly this is a floating, uh, it's a floating camp, um, so when you open this chest, you'll see that we've got a new icon here um, that says it requires fill dirt, and it tells you exactly how many blocks you need to add for the dirt, and as, long, uh, as well as the hammer. So, um, if we got some dirt, we can open this up, stick the dirt in, and there's only 64 dirt there, and it requires about uh, nearly 8,000 dirt. So when we close this, it's going to add that dirt to the dirt added, and we're just going to have to keep adding dirt until it builds. Um, I actually have, um, so if you add the hammer here, it's going to consume the hammer just like it did the dirt, and it's going to go from, you know, hammers required to, from 1 to 0, and the hammer's building to 1, like that but it's not going to actually build until all this dirt is filled in. Um, so um, luckily I have a little admin cheat uh, super dirt and this counts for all the dirt so we're just going to put this in and it's going to build all the dirt and then when I close this uh, we'll have all the things we need to build this camp and the camp should build and then also the dirt underneath it should be filled in for us. See? Like that. And now the camp is going to be finished and now you have a 100% valid camp um, and you provided all the dirt. Now normally you wouldn't you wouldn't build a camp kind of like floating like this, you would build it like right here and there'd only be a, a few hundred things that you'd have to fill in and it would be actually be pretty easy to do it. Um, I might make this also use gravel, so if you've got gravel from the sifter or the trommel it'll it'll fill it up with uh, gravel or um, dirt, but for now it's just dirt. It might convert the gravel into dirt. Uh, still debating about whether or not I want to do that. Um, so that's uh, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to make another video going over uh, the new city-state stuff, and that's the most exciting stuff. So I'll see you then.